Poland has a lot of interesting trains. From their luxurious high-speed express intercity Pendolino trains, to their home-built modern Pesa Dart trains. Today, however, we are gonna explore the worst offering Poland has, as we take the cheapest train service, the low-cost Tielko trains. Join me as I explore if these old low-cost trains really are as bad as you think, and how you can get a first-class seat for the price of a second-class ticket. Today's journey starts from the city of Piwa in northwestern Poland, and we'll be heading to Gdansk on board one of PKP, the state intercity operator here in Poland's low-cost trains. There's been a station on this site for well over a hundred years, with the original station dating back all the way to 1851, but the modern day station was heavily modernized in 2015. As you can see, the station building is nice and bright and has some seats as well, and looks like a pleasant place to wait. Our train will be the 1754 service towards Gdynia and Gdansk, leaving from track number 5. A bit further down in the station, you will find the main waiting area as well as the ticket office. However, I have bought my ticket online today, so there's no need for me to queue. But be aware, here in Poland, the queues at the ticket office can be quite long. It's a lovely little station building. The station also features a small cafe. And should you have too many beers from the cafe while you wait for your train, you'll find the toilets down in the underpass. But do grab yourself something from the cafe, as there will be no restaurant car or anything like that on board the train. The station here is a major railway hub, serving many of PKP intercity services in northwestern Poland. Trains are also often timetabled to meet here, providing seamless connections between various intercity services. It's also one of the few places on the largely electrified Polish rail network still to have diesel operated intercity trains. And our train is gonna be exactly that. Arriving from Kostsun is our PKP SU4210 locomotive, a heavily modernized Polish Shunter train capable of speeds of up to 90 km per hour. As the train only stops here briefly, let's waste no time and head on board. Because it's a low cost train, you have to open the doors yourself. When booking my ticket, I selected a seat in carriage number 12, because despite the train being standard class only, this carriage is actually a first class carriage. And it looks like my compartment is empty, at least for now. There's no air condition on these trains either, but full opening windows allows you to get a great view of us departing the station for our journey towards Gdansk. And speaking of the route, I think we should take a look at it. We are on board train TLK 85110, which starts in Kotzin near the border with Germany and then makes several intermediate stops in places I won't attempt to pronounce before arriving in Piwa. Here we join the train and after Piwa the train continues again stopping at more intermediate stations before arriving into Chef where the train changes direction and then heads towards Gdansk, Suput and Gdynia. The distance from Piwa to Gdansk is 260 km and is covered in 3 hours and 40 minutes, giving the train an average speed of 59 km per hour. It's a lovely summer day to be traveling by train through much of green Poland. Which can also be enjoyed from your compartment. Which features luggage storage, as well as blinds if you want a nap. And the door can be shut. Up above you will find the volume control as well as temperature control. The cabin comes with a bin as well as a small table. Pretty comfortable for something that calls itself low cost. Tunisia is an important station along the line and transfer point to regional services that stops at all stations. 
but we do make a stop in Lag, a station all the gamers hate. Also lagging behind is some of the infrastructure along the route, with some of the stations still having semaphore signals in active use. I think it's about time we do the train tour, starting with the toilet of course. It's looking fairly clean already, with a simple locking mechanism. The water is working, and there's plenty of paper, as well as toilet paper. It's one of the old school ones, dumping your waste onto the track, but it's looking clean, so good job Pico P. The train is made up of three carriages, the first one being second class compartments. As you can see in second class, they have fitted two more seats in here, and I can imagine this being really cramped, so try and book carriage number 12 instead, if you want a compartment. The train also carries bikes, which can be found in the middle carriage. And here is another second class carriage. This one however is open saloon style, with airline style seating, mostly in a 2 plus 2 layout. Unfortunately, this carriage doesn't have any base of 4 with table seats. And finally the last carriage, which is a declassified first class carriage. But I've already shown you the compartments in that, so we can just skip it. We're making good progress on our journey, and it's looking like we might be in for a beautiful sunset once we get closer to Gdansk. We're now in the complex railway junction around Chef, where we will join the main line between Warsaw and Gdansk and Gdynia. But we'll arrive into the station facing the wrong way. Meaning our engine will have to do what's known as a runaround to get to the other end of the train and pull us towards Gdansk. This is done quite swiftly by the engine detaching from the train. The train then runs past the wagons on an opposite track. And then comes back to pull us in the right direction now. And then it's time to head back on board. And before we arrive, I should show you the seats. They are very comfortable, very plush. And they offer a great bit of recline as well. So, really good seats. But they are also first class seats, so... For the last part of the journey we'll run under the overhead wires on diesel power. But only for a short while, as we'll soon be approaching Gdansk main station. With this truly lovely station building and clock tower, I think it might possibly even be my favorite station in Poland, but I'm going one stop further tonight, which offers some great views of the large cranes that are a key part of this port city. This now means we'll shortly arrive at Gdansk Besesh, where I'm ending my journey tonight. For something that's meant to be a discount product, this is really not that bad. As a railway fan, I love the opening windows, and honestly, these trains are basic, but still very comfortable, and I would definitely take them again. The price for a trip from Piwa to Gdansk came in at 59 slotty, booked on the day on the PKP website. This is honestly excellent value, especially considering the last minute booking. Thank you so much for joining me on today's trip. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I try to upload a new one every Sunday. You can also follow me on Twitter at IntercitySimon. It's a great place to follow my travels in real time and get a sneak peek at what videos might be coming in the future. Thanks for watching.